Welcome to Saints John Paul Liturgy the Word at Home for today, April 18th, the third Sunday of Easter. Wait, the third Sunday of Easter? I thought Easter was two weeks ago. Why are we still celebrating Easter? We are celebrating Easter because Easter lasts for seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven whole weeks. That's how important Easter is to our faith and in the church. Let us begin in prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Risen Christ, bless us with open minds and hearts that we will hear your word and carry the good news to others throughout Easter time. We live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. I have a reading to you, for you today from the Gospel of Luke, and it continues the story of the disciples and their road to Emmaus. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. May your word be on my mind, on my lips, and in my heart. The disciples from Emmaus told what happened on the road, and how they knew he was the Lord when he broke the bread. When Jesus' disciples were talking about what had happened, Jesus appeared to them and said, Peace be with you. They were frightened and terrified because they thought they were seeing a ghost. But Jesus said, why are you so frightened? Why do you doubt? Look at my hands and my feet and see who I am. Touch me and find out for yourselves. Ghosts don't have flesh and bones, as you see I have. After Jesus said this, he showed them his hands and feet. The disciples were so glad and amazed they could not believe it. Jesus then asked them, do you have something to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it as they watched. Jesus said to them, While I was with you, I told you that everything written about me in the Law of Moses, the Book of the Prophets, and in the Psalms had to happen. Then he helped them understand the scriptures. He told them, The scriptures say that the Messiah must suffer. Then three days later he will rise from death. They also say that all people of every nation must be told in my name to turn to God in order to be forgiven. So, beginning in Jerusalem, you must tell everything that has happened. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Peace be with you. Did you hear that in our story today? These are the first words Jesus said to his disciples. These are words that Jesus taught the disciples and words he used over and over again. These words are not just words but words Jesus taught his disciples to live by. This is how Jesus wanted his followers to live. Why were Jesus' disciples startled and afraid when they saw him? They thought they were seeing a ghost. What did Jesus do to show them that he wasn't a ghost? Jesus told the disciples to touch him and to look at his hands and feet, and then he ate with them. The disciples were no longer confused and afraid, they had seen Jesus alive, so Jesus told his friends to go tell everyone how much God loves each and every one of them. They were to help others understand why Jesus died so that no one would be confused and frightened by his death. Jesus helped open his disciples' eyes. The disciples helped others see and understand why Jesus had died. Jesus taught peace, and Jesus wants peace for all of us. When you were at Mass, listen for the time when Father Tim says, Peace be with you, and we respond, and with your spirit. Father Tim is offering the, us the peace that Jesus offered his disciples. Then we share that peace by giving it to others. What a great way to be like Jesus. For our closing prayer, Almighty Father, make us strong in professing our faith. May your Son always be present to us. We ask you to hear and answer our prayers through Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. How can you show peace and be peace this week? Sometimes it is hard. I challenge you to take a deep breath and think, how can I make peace when things are hard? Have a happy Easter.